Now, the 2024 draft. It's today, and I need to talk about my wonderful Atlanta Hawks. As an Atlanta fan, I don't know whether I should be nervous or excited. Now, people are going to ask me what I think. And, and simply, if you're going to keep Trey Young, if you're going to keep your team the same, just draft Alex Starr, bro. Don't overthink. Alex Starr is 6'11", he's a shot blocker, and has great potential on both sides of the ball. Great potential. I really like that. I think you just go with that. Go with the guy who could be a really, really good big in the NBA. The only problem is that this draft is, it's McDonald's-like. <laughs> it's McDonald's-like, right? There's a lot on the menu, and it seems hard to go wrong, but in reality, it feels like all you can do is go wrong. It feels like that at any second you could land a bad bite and be on the toilet for two weeks. Like, that's pretty much how this draft feels. It feels like taking a trip to McDonald's, right? There's a lot of enticing things on the menu. There's a lot of good stuff on the menu. But the odds of you getting a bad bite and you suffering for it seem high. That's how I see this draft. This draft is a walking McDonald's. That's what I see. Good things on the menu, right? And, and the thing is that the good stuff is gone early. The good stuff is actually early draft, just like at McDonald's. The good stuff is in the morning. Everything else is decent, but the real good stuff is in the morning. That's what this draft is. The good stuff is early, very top-heavy. And even then, there's not a crazy plethora of talent at the top of the draft, but, you know, very top-heavy. This draft is a walking McDonald's in every way possible. Now, I would not be mad if Atlanta drafted that Zachary guy from France. I haven't watched a lot of him. Uh, I haven't really heard of him ever since two weeks ago when he was projected to be the number one overall pick. So i got to do a little bit more research on him. I'll definitely do a reaction on the draft, though. Um, as far as trading the pick, I feel good about that. Pack the pick up. Uh, probably trade Murray or Trey. You get a nice little haul for that, in my opinion. Uh, and also, the Hawks are possibly looking to trade Trey Young. Guys... Heed my words. Do not be surprised if Rob Dillingham flies off the board at number one overall. Do not be surprised. Do not be surprised. The Atlanta Hawks have said that they wanted to move Trey Young. Trey Young has, has uh, been interested in a lot of different teams. The Lakers, the Spurs, for example. All I'm saying is that Rob Dillingham flying off the board at one would not be ridiculous. I would not be surprised if that happened. I would not. That would essentially be Atlanta saying, okay, we're going to rebuild, and Dillingham's going to be a core piece of this rebuild. We believe he's the best player in the draft. Yeah. Rob Dillingham, to me, to me, is one of the better players in the draft. That's just to me. He's fantastic. Maybe he'd maybe be a smaller guard. Got a lot of good smaller guards. He's a smaller guard. May not be the greatest defender, but he's incredibly quick. He can shoot from everywhere. The dude shot 40% from three last year and 47% in total. He was absolutely magnificent at Kentucky as a six man. He's got the burst. He's got that speed. Only minus is just he's a little small. He's a little thin. He's very Morant-ish to me. I see a little Morant in him. If you combine... Kyrie Irving and John Morant a little bit you mix that up I think you get a Rob Dillingham and that assessment came from my dad by the way shout out dad that didn't come from just me but you guys get the idea it's going to be really interesting to see what Atlanta does don't be surprised if we see a surprise because the odds are we're gonna have a lot of surprises today's draft I mean this is the first draft in a long time where there's not a guaranteed top two picks right like we could dead serious have Rob Dillingham go anywhere between one and ten like, the guy could be the first player off the board, or he could be waiting all night to have his name called. I think that's fun, but as the guy who's a fan with a team of the number one overall pick, that's a slight bit little concerning, in my opinion.